Hello, Discoverers! How are you today? I hope you are all doing well. I've heard from some of you, uh, and I'm very appreciative uh, on WhatsApp. And I've heard uh, nothing from some others. <laughs> so I'm a little worried about you, because I hear nothing. <laughs> I hope you're all well. Okay. In this video, we are going to work on our iSpy Unit 2. We're actually going to finish it today. That is this book, iSpy Unit 2 course book. We're going to work on pages 15, 16, and 17 today. So, page 15, which is a listening exercise, 16, which has two listening exercises, and 17, our favorite rubbish. And then we're done with Unit 2. Normally at the end of Unit 1 and 2 there is a test. We will do that at the return of school, not now. I will continue on Unit 3, actually. We will also work in our activity book. You will need to work on page 13 if you haven't done it already. Then on page 14, okay, you can do this with your family. Okay, and you have to work on these questions. Okay, be careful. You know how to do this. You've done it many times. And then this is about you. And this is based on Freckle and her little story about her family member, her brother and her mother. Okay, so in this little me box, you will need to choose a relative, mom or dad, brother or sister, or grandma. Draw your relative and write about your relative. Okay, and you follow the example that we will study today on page 16. Okay, then you will need to work on page 15, which will be your auto-evaluation. It's the end of the unit, and you need to fill it out. You know how to do the auto-evaluation. Do not forget that on page 55, you need to color and trace. Page 55, color and trace your vocabulary that we will then deal with putting into our dictionaries later. That's this stuff. Okay? Don't forget. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to start now. Please take out your course book and turn to page 15. 15. Here is a game called True or False. True or False. True is it is correct. False is that it is not correct, incorrect. Okay, you're going to be working on this set of questions. These are all questions you should be able to uh, both ask fluidly and answer fluidly. Okay, if these are still difficult for you to ask, then you still, you need to work on it. There's no other choice. Okay, the questions are, what is your name? This you all know. How old are you? What color is your hair? What color are your eyes? And then how many brothers have you got? How many sisters have you got? Okay, so in this game, you have a contestant and she's trying to figure out if he's telling the truth or if he's saying something untrue, false. Here are the actual answers of his, his real name, his age, his color of his hair, the color of his eyes, how many brothers and sisters he has, okay? So they're going to play a game and find out. I want you to listen, okay, and see what is true and false. Please note on notebook paper or on in your uh, uh, workbook. You can note it on one of the blank pages. It doesn't matter. Anything, anywhere well, in there. And... Just note if it's true or false, okay? Okay, let's uh, get that ready. Just a minute. We're going to be on this page. I Spy Level 2 okay. by Julie Ashworth. You have to get to the right one. So you're on I Spy Level 2, page 15. And we're going to do listening number 34. <laughs> Oops, that's ours. Here we go. Listen number 34. What's this one? Listen and choose the true or false game. True or false game. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> it's 
to Here Are The Real Answers. And this is your host. Hello, hello, hello. Let's play true or false. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. What's your name? Um, John Bloggs. How old or are false. you? I'm 20. True or false? And what colors your hair? It's black. True or false? What color are your eyes? <laughs> Green. True or false? How many brothers have you got? Two. True. Or false. How many sisters have you got? None. Okay, true or false. Okay, okay, so here it's very simple. You have to listen, you read this part, and you decide if he's telling you the truth or not the truth. <laughs> mm, he says a little bit silly stuff. Okay, okay, next. We're going to do on page 16, listening number 36. It's just a little song, a little rhyme. Okay, so please turn to page 16. That's at the top. And we're going to listen to the song, How Many? How Many? You know this question, how many? We use it in class for our warm up questions of how many days, how many Mondays, and how many fingers. It's the question of number okay okay let's listen to the little song on page si uh, 16 at the top okay okay here we go just a second listening number 36 36 listen how many how many <laughs> Okay, so I want you to listen to it again and try to sing with it. It's very simple, okay? Just how many people live in my house? One, my brother, uh, father. Two, my mother. Three, my sister. Four, my brother. There's one more. Let me see. He's thinking. Yes, of course, it must be me. Plus, there's a little doggy woggy. Okay, let's listen to it again. Try to sing with it if you can. Okay, here we go. Just again. Listening number 36. It's very simple. Listen. Okay. How many? How many? How many people live in my house? One, my father. Two, my mother. Three, my sister. Four, my brother. It's very simple. Okay, so then you're going to need to be able to tell me how many people are in your house. Are there five? Are there four? And do you have brothers and sisters? How many brothers? How many sisters? Okay, so you need to tell me how many are in your house. Please let me know by WhatsApp. Let me know what's going on. Okay, now, still on page 16, we're going to listen to our next part where Freckle is speaking about her family. And this is listening number 37. And it's going to ta answer the question, what, write about your family. It's not a question, pardon me. It, it's talking about your family. And that's related to the exercise me, which is based on this page and the course book with Freckle. Okay, okay let's listen. She's going to talk about her mother and her brother. Okay, okay, here we go. Listening number 37. Listen. This is my brother. His name is Mole. He 
he's 11 years old. He's got blue hair and green eyes. This is my mum. Her name is Alice. She's 40 years old. She's got brown hair and red eyes. Okay, now this little uh, description of the mother and the brother is very rich. Okay, first it talks about he and she, her and his, and my. These are different kinds of pronouns, okay? Now, when it says, this is my brother, this is my mom, the my refers to Freckle talking about her family. It does not accord with the person, it accords with the person speaking, the possessor. Okay, so my, she's talking about her mom and her brother. My brother, my mother. Okay, after that, when is she talks about her brother? Because her brother is a boy. Okay, his, okay, his uh, name is Mo. Now, again, this person is a male, and the his or her accords with the possessor and not anything else. Very different from French. In English, we do not have masculine and feminine words, <laughs> feminine words. So our possessive pronouns match the possessor and not what is possessed. His name. Okay, so the possessor is a boy. So the boy's name is Mo. His name is Mo. When it becomes the pronoun and just the regular pronoun, he's, okay, he's 11. He is, okay, because it belongs to a boy. Here with the mother, because she is a female, she's a woman, her name, so the her accords with the possessor, and the possessor is a woman. It's not about the name, it's about her. So her name is Alice. Because it is a her, a girl, woman, it is a she's 40 years old. She's got brown hair and red eyes. Okay, so these all accord with the person being spoken about. Okay, they all accord with this person. So this seems simple, but it's actually very rich. Please be careful when you write about your family in the exercise book, in the activity book. Make sure that you accord with the right person. Okay, just like here. Okay, all right, very good. Now, Again, I want you to look at the activity book. Make sure that you're okay. Here, if you write about your brother, make sure it is his name and he. If you write about your sister, make sure it is her name and she. This is following the same exercise as Freckle. Okay? All right. Now, I would like you to take out your uh, course book again, and we're going to go to page 17 in one of our favorite activities, Rubbish, okay, with our rubbish gang, um, Eek the Mouse, Stink the Rat, and Bash the Weasel. So we're going to listen the first time. You need to listen and observe each picture because the second time it'll be in disorder. Okay, all righty, here we go. Let's listen, listen. Listening number 39. That's this one. Part A. A. Just listen. listen. Rubbish! Here we go, starts here.
She's a little bit <laughs> difficult, huh? Now you're going to re listen like we always do. Listen and number 39. Right. Listen. Part B. And C. Listen. Okay. And choose. Right. What number is it? A. A. Which one is A? <laughs> F G <laughs> This is my twin sister. Her name is Polly. Hello, Polly. H Got you. <laughs> that may be the easiest one. <laughs> That is the end of our unit, the rubbish. Okay, so please try to finish your exercises as you can. I will be sending very shortly another video where we will begin actually unit three, okay? Which is uh, a totally different group of vocabulary that we will work on, okay? So please try to finish unit two. Let me know how it's going. Please send photos and um, or videos by WhatsApp. Okay, I'd like to know how you all are doing, and I. Some people let me know, and some are completely silent. <laughs> I would like to know if you're alive. <laughs> okay, bye bye.